Hey friends, today is November 18, 2015, and here's another article. This is a follow-up. Evidence wraps up in trial of man accused of pimping Los Soso's team. Richard Brooks, 40 San Francisco, is on trial for close to two dozen charges. And so, this is by Patrick S. Pemberton. A man accused of pimping out a 17-year-old Los Soso's girl while her mother was out of town, told jurors the alleged victim was a teenage black widow. But the prosecution characterized the defendant as a sexual deviant who took advantage of a girl who had been molested as a child. Attorneys concluded the evidence phase Friday in the trial of Richard Scott Brooks, 40, of San Francisco. Brooks faces close to two dozen charges, including rape and human trafficking and pimping of a minor. The district attorney's office alleges that Brooks recruited a teen on Craigslist had sex with her multiple times over four days and then pimped her out through another Craigslist posting. On Friday, Brooks testified for a third consecutive day. Under questioning from his attorney, Matt Guerrero, Brooks said the alleged victim referred to in court as Jane Doe actively pursued him after responding to his initial Craigslist posting July 19, 2014. The girl said she was 18. Brooks testified and agreed to pick him up in the Bay Area and take him to Los Sosos. The girl testified previously that her mother and younger sister were out of state at the time. At the Los Osos home, Brooks said Jane Doe often initiated the sexual encounters with Brooks. He described her as intelligent, strong, in control, and assertive. At one point, two shop for sex products she requested in San Luis Obispo, Brooks testified. Was a consensual sex, Guerrero asked him. Every time, Brooks replied. Brooks denied having sex with her when she was passed out. After Deputy District Attorney Greg Devitt said Jane Doe appears to not have moved in some of the sex videos Brooks shot, and Jane Doe testified that she does not remember those encounters. On July 27th, the third day he stayed in Los Osos, Brooks said he found her wallet, and the identification inside showed the girl was 17. The next day, Deputy District Attorney Greg Devitt contends Oscar Guerrero's, a volunteer fire captain in Cayucos, responded to an ad Brooks placed on Craigslist. Brooks said Jane Doe was the driving force behind that posting. It was basically, we were looking for a threesome at her request, Brooks said. After Higueros arrived, Brooks said he didn't participate in the sex, nor did he collect money from Higueros. Yet, Devitt said in court, some of the correspondence with Higueros specified monetary amounts, $150 for a half hour and $250 for an hour. Brooks said Jane Doe wrote some of the responses, including one in which her street name was misspelled. Devitt aggressively examined the defendant, sometimes with rapid-fire questions, after Brooks said he had had sex with many women since Jane Doe. Devitt asked, do you find yourself sexually desirous? No, Brooks said. Do you feel like you need to take advantage of women? Definitely not. Sodomize them while they're unconscious. That's gross. Some of the women listed on Brooks' phone contact list had first names paired with the surname Slut. That's how I identified them as my booty calls, Brooks testified. Do you hate women, Devitt asked. I love women. Then why do you call them sluts? Brooks said those with slut listed as a surname were women he'd met at sex parties or online. Do you think you have an insatiable appetite for sex, Devitt asked. No. Jane Doe previously testified that Brooks seemed interested when she told him she had been molested by a grandfather. Brooks denied that, saying he considered getting help for her at an establishment for abused women. At the same time, he suggested the teen had lied in her testimony. Miss Doe's not a victim. She's a black widow, he said. Brooks called the girl a black widow twice, suggesting the girl had once pursued him and turned on him. After Brooks left the Los Osos home, he said he offered Jane Doe fifty dollars from a hundred and fifty he had made while there. When Devitt asked how he made the hundred and fifty, Brooks said he met a client for a freelance web design work. On July twenty ninth, just before returning home, Brooks sent Jane Doe another text saying he would have money for her. He also suggested more men would pay to have sex with her, Devitt said. I already have three clients from San Francisco who want to meet you, he wrote, according to Devitt. Closing arguments begin Tuesday. Now, this is a follow-up to uh, an earlier article that I wrote on. So, I mean, what do you think? Go back and watch that one. But he put in his phone, you know, 
calling all these women sluts, which is pretty typical if you don't uh, get to know them beyond just, you know, smashing and dipping out. That's it. And I mean, also, what do you think of this girl? I mean, was she lying? Is she a black widow? Was she trying to take advantage of this dude? Or is he just a dirty old pervert who was taking advantage of a young girl? It's a lot of little angles on this one. But do leave your comments below. And as always, that's going to do it for this article. Catch you on the next one. September Man, out, 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 out.